A check of police dispatch logs shows a disturbing increase in domestic violence locally. The YWCA Women's Shelter reports a nearly 20% hike in calls, comparing this year and last year at the same time. Experts point to COVID-19 as a possible factor. However, shelters are seeing an even more disconcerting disconnect. Valley News Team's Katie Opperly explains. From March through May, um, there has been an 18% increase in domestic violence calls in 2020 compared to the same time period in 2019. While the Red River Valley Dispatch began receiving more calls, the YWCA and the Rape and Abuse Crisis Center say when the pandemic began, they did not see more people reaching out for help. When people are more isolated, I, I think there's no question um, that that power and control uh, only has the opportunity to increase. We were hitting times that were new to all of us. Um, everyone's concerned about their environment. Um, they're very confined, worried about um, safety in numerous ways. And I think another thing was everything was shut down, so the belief was where do I go? Prof now says that's not the only concern. The people who did ask her center for help did not follow through. We have seen an increase of people who've called for help that haven't arrived after they've scheduled an intake. Prognos says this is not typical for the shelter. During a time of increased instability and pressure, it can be a dangerous combination. With everything that's going on, I think that we that the community is all tense, and I think that we are seeing, uh, um, with the calls that we're getting, we are seeing more weapons, more hostility with the violence. There's just an increase. And that has been something we have noticed with the pandemic. So shelters are spreading this message. They are open. Call for help. Domestic violence, child sexual abuse, sexual assault, human trafficking, elder abuse, all of those issues are rape and abuse crisis center issues. So please reach out for all of them. We're here for you. Um, and, and please call for assistance if you need access to emergency shelter. In Fargo, Katie Offerly, Valley News Live. And the YWCA shelter has also partnered with others in the community so they could offer food to those in need. If you are in need of shelter, food, counseling, or other resources, find them on the VNL app by clicking on this story.